Hello guys and welcome to Guess the Output series in Python programming by Amul's Academy. Today I will give you a program you need to guess the output of that program. Later we'll execute that program and I will explain you the working of that program. So here is the program. You need to pause this video and try to guess the output of this program. Alright, I hope now you have your answer. So we'll execute this program and we'll see whether you got the correct answer or not. So the answer is this. So this is our list and the answer is 43. Okay, so if you got the same answer, then you know the logic of the program. If not, I'll explain you the program now. So first, initially we are creating an empty list using list constructor. So list one is a list. It is an empty list. Next, we'll append the value to the list. Here we can see. Again, we'll append another list. Next, we'll extend the list using extend method. So next here we are printing the list one. Next here we are adding the few values of the list one and we are accessing the values using the indexing. To understand this program, first we need to know how append and extend works. Append adds this element as the single element to the list. Okay, so this will be the first element of list one. Next, this will be the second element of list one. But in the extend, add the each element to the list one separately. So 13 is added separately and 14, 15 added separately. Okay, so we'll get list one as. So this is the first element. We appended this value. So it will be added as a single and this will be the first value of list one. Next, this will be the second value of list one. We appended this list, so it will append as a single value. Next, we used extend method and we added this list. So it will add the values separately. Here we can see 13 is added separately and 14 and 15 is added separately. I already made a video on the difference between append and extend method. So I will give the link of that in the description box. You can go and check that. So next here we can see we want to add the few elements of the list one. So initially list one of 0, 1, 1. So this is the list one. So we want list one of 0, 1, 1. So first we'll see list one of 0. So this is list one of 0. In that we need first element. So here index of this is 0 and this is 1. In that we want first value. So this is 0th index value. This is 1 index value. So list 1 of 0, 1, 1 is nothing but 5. List 1 of 0 is nothing but this. Okay. This is 0. This is 1. This is 2. And this is 3. In list 1 of 0, I want the element present in 1 index. This is list 1 of 0. The element present in one index is nothing but 4 and 5. In that I want first element. So that is nothing but this is 0, this is 1. So that is nothing but 5. Next in this list 1 of 1, 1, 0. List 1 of 1 is nothing but this. And in that 1, so this is 0, this is 1. In that I want element present in the 0th index. That is nothing but 10. So here this is nothing but 10. This expression will give you 10. Next list 1 of 2. So that is nothing but 13 here. Next list 1 of 3 and 1. So list 1 of 3 is nothing but this 14 and 15. And in that I want the value present in the first index that is nothing but 15. So here this is 15. So we need to add this 5 plus 10 15, 15 plus 15 30, 30 plus 13 that is 43. So we got the answer as 43 here. So you should be careful about the indexing of uh, nested list. If you have clear understanding about the indexing of the nested list, then you can easily figure out the answer of this program. Okay, so this is about this program. That's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.